It has been asked, what is float? Well, you can find float in settings. One way to find settings is to go to home and, hey, look, there's settings right here, number five. And then there's the document settings. And that's the one that um, you're particularly interested in, in terms of float. The default is float six. Let's take a look at what float six does. So I'll just escape out of this and return to for my current document. All right, so here's a problem about the charge of an electron multiplied by however many electrons, and let's see what the charge of that is. Hmm, I get 0 0.000038. It's floating to six decimal places. Um, and I have another example um, up here where I've defined f of x and doing an example of trapezoid method um, with five subintervals from negative three to negative four and or actually negative four to negative three and and we get this this is insufficient for the AP calculus exam so uh, one little tip is to up arrow and press enter and you can see more digits um, I'm going to control and, and uh, delete backspace and uh, get rid of that and let's take a look at more digits. See, you get more digits. Okay, but what if you um, didn't want to have to do that to up arrow and press enter to see more digits and to see that this answer is actually more than 1% off of um, this this answer up here is more than 1% off of that. So if you were doing this problem with web assigned it would not accept that answer of the point zero 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 three eight. So what can be done? Well, how about let's go to settings another way. Under doc, you see settings and status. And then there's the document settings again. And so you could change it to float. I'm a big fan of float. But while we're here, let's take a look down. There's fix. On the AP exam, uh, they want three decimal places. Uh, AP calculus it is. And so you could fix to always give you three decimal places. But again, I'm a big fan of float. So Typically, float treats me quite well, and you want to make that to the default, so that if you happen to be doing um, the scratch pad, then it will also be in the same settings. Okay, so any new document you do, or the scratch pad will be in float. So I say okay, and so if I were to uh, redo one of these calculations again, then but um, there you got it. Similarly, if you redo this calculation, then you get as many decimal places. Interestingly, um, sometimes it gives even more. Um, so there's float for you. If we were to do pi, over here's pi, and we want to see how many decimal places we could get. Ha ha, how about we do control enter? And then we can see lots of decimal places. Yeah, even one more. Um, and something else fun when I do play around with pi is menu number convert approximate to a fraction. So if we were to approximate with this many decimal places, 1 times 10 to the negative 14, if we were to approximate um, pi, or the uh, the above answer, I would say pi, to, uh, to that many decimal places, you get this kind of fraction. So what if we didn't want that much precision? What if we just wanted um, 0 0.01 amount of precision? Then you get this. 22 sevenths is in fact um, 3.14. So to the hundredths place, um, it is the same fraction. All right, anyway, there's some fun with float. Hope you enjoyed it.